Good day. So the Swedish government has been quarreling with the Hungarian government. It's a bit exciting and I'm embarrassed. I am. This is the queen of globalism here in Sweden. She is uh, Margot Wallström. She's the foreign minister, socialist, feminist, of course. Yeah, despicable person. So Wallström was interviewed in a newspaper and she, was, she said that Hungary by itself had prevented the European Union from presenting a united front on multiple occasions. He called, she called Hungary problematic when it comes to European unity. Yeah, very embarrassing. And I apologize to Hungary for this, of course. And uh, we will see much more of this, I think, in 2019, how the globalists join forces to attack their enemy, the nationalists. But the Hungarian government handled this very well. I applaud this. This is the Hungarian foreign minister. He said in a statement that Sweden's pro-migration government had governed Sweden into an uncertain domestic situation. Yeah, you can say that again. It is unknown when Sweden will have a new government, he said. Yet Wallström feels it's important to criticize Hungary. Yeah, this is brilliant stuff. This is exactly how you handle this woman. Yeah, very, very good. He also noted that Viktor Orban's government this year was elected to a third consecutive term with a substantial majority, adding that stability was a major asset in these challenging times. There's another knockout, isn't it? Yeah, very, very good. He said Wallström was holding Hungary accountable for the state of Europe's unity when it was Sweden that was divided. Yeah. He said, we know that the pro-migration forces cannot tolerate any dissenting views, but we can assure the Swedish foreign minister that we will keep Hungary Hungarian under all circumstances. It's great stuff, isn't it? Finally, I want to tell you this story. I don't know, I think this is true. Maybe I need to double check it, but I wanted to tell you. This is from the United States. The Boy Scouts decided to change its name to Scouts, PSA because it was more gender neutral. <laughs> yeah. And one week after they announced this switch, they lost 425,000 members. I hope this is true. Yeah. And now it's apparently close to bankruptcy. <laughs> yeah. So let boys be boys. You know, that's what they want to be. And they will grow up to be fine men, many of them. And let girls be girls. And they will grow up to be fine women, most of them. That's what we want. All right. That's it. Bye.